me again. <laughs> um, so I wanted to do a organising video with you guys. I wanted to organise this space over here and also in my cupboard and probably just tidy up my desk and everything underneath it. So I went to the shops today. Also, I'm sick. <laughs> so I've got the sniffles and the sneezles. The sniffles and the sneezles, aren't they the same thing? Anyway, I'm probably also a bit delusional. Um, I got lost a few times walking around the shops in this morning, not knowing what I'm doing because my brain's fuzzy. And I've had a emotional roller coaster of a day today. We'll probably talk about that in a bit. But I thought I'll just tell you all the organising supplies that I got. And the reason I wanted to make this video is because I've been wanting to organise my washi tapes for such a long time. And this space is becoming a bit of a dumping ground. So um, over in my Patreon, Mary suggested that I did an organising video. And I told her that I was going to make one on YouTube and that I never did because it takes... It's actually quite a lot of money to start buying everything. And then I had a little bit extra money this month, which was a lot of fun. So I decided I would make, finally make my stationary organising video. So I'm going to be organising my washi tapes and my stickers and my papers. Yeah, a lot of fun. Okay, so I got these three from Typo. And I love the colours. I really want to bring in some colour to this room. And they're very easy. So you just pop them out, pop, oh, why are they popping, pop them out, they should just click in, um, why are they clicking? Because I'm so weak today, okay, pop them out, pop them down, and now they're a cute little, um, like basket so I'm going to put lots of cute things in here they're actually like little crates aren't they so I've got three of those those ones are from typo now everything that I bought today cost around 150 so not a small budget but I'm happy with my purchases now what did I get from Kmart I got this um, scrapbooking case it's 12 by 12, you never see these around, so I'm so happy, I think this was actually the last one, so I'm so happy I got that. Also two of these display books, these are really good for keeping scrap papers in, um, and currently I just have a pile of scrap papers in there, so I'm so excited to go through them, finally. And then also like one of these um, folders it's nice not to have to flip through sometimes it's nice to go through like that and I keep a lot of my like stuff that I get in pen pal letters in these okay I got this is sneezel oh, my nose is just dripping I'm gonna have to go get a tissue alrighty I'm back okay so I went to Daiso and I found finally like cases that you can actually keep washi tapes in Look how brilliant these are! So I got two of them. These were $3.80. Usually everything it dies is $2.80, but I'm happy with $3.80. Um, where's my other one? I hope I got two of them. Oh my goodness, I only got one! No. like big these are too small for the big washi tape so big washi tapes can fit into this one and this one is supposed to be for like tapes and paper clips and all that but I think it's going to be perfect for washi tapes um I also just picked up two of these like they're like those um bags plastic bags where they've got the um what's it called like adhesive strip that's just for my shop not interesting and then I also got some smaller 
folders, kind of like, like accordion folders, um, because I've got all sorts of, all sorts of sizes, I've got all sorts, um, I've got all different sizes of like stickers and papers, so I thought a medium sized one would be perfect for the larger sticker sheets. And this can be like sticker sheets that I get from independent artists that I want to keep all in one place, because that's my size. And then also, there's this teeny tiny one which I thought was perfect and it's got so many pockets in. So those two were also from Daiso. And then I also went to, it was just like a var variety store. Um, sometimes they're called dollar stores. They're usually, um, they've usually got like an aisle of cooking stuff, like birthday stuff. And then they'll usually have like storage stuff. So I found these in the crafting section, I'm pretty sure. And they're a, they're actually a bit bigger than A4 size and they're going to be perfect for, again, scrap papers. Like, I pile up all my scrap papers and I rip out of magazines. Oops. So I got two of those. Oh, I got lots of folders, files. I thought these were going to be perfect for stickers. So they're called photo storage case organizers and it was just from the craft section. And you actually pull each one out and they're like postcard size, or like photo size, because they're supposed to be for photos. Look, isn't that perfect? This is exactly what I need. And do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to um, like organize them for like seasonal and holidays. I know, I'm very excited. And then, how does this one get on? Okay, cool, it looks. This one is, oh, I don't know, I think larger photos. Again, the same concept. It's got a storage box and then all the little storage containers inside. I thought that was perfect. And then lucky last, oh, this one I'm so happy I found. It was the last one in stock. It is called like just a storage box for like tools, fishing, safety kit. Perfect for washi tapes. So now I have four for washi tapes. So I think I might do the washi tapes first. <laughs> um, and that one was on special for 10 bucks. So I thought that was a bargain. That is all. Let's get started. So this is how I currently store my washi tapes. And I'm going to put them all into my new storage tubs. So I bought these drawers online and I put them together myself and they have um, like cardboard, oh, they are so broken. So I'm going to pull one drawer out at a time and I'm going to organise them. Part. They're really broken so the bottom's completely fallen out. Can you guys see that? Look at how much crap I have. <laughs> I am going to just completely declutter. I don't need all this.
you guys think I'm going to be able to shimmy it across 10 centimeters without everything coming off? <laughs> All right. Hopefully this is not going to be like a massive fail. I don't even know if it's going to move. I can't believe I actually successfully moved that by myself. Look at that groove on the ground. That's how far I moved it. Cool, excuse me. This all needs organizing, but I just wanted to show you guys. Look at the mess I've created. So you guys are watching this video and you can watch this video probably in like 20 minutes. But this is going to take me Oh no, what have I done? I have too much stuff! To be fair, most of this will go away in the new set of drawers. But I'm off to Ikea to go get my new drawers now. So I'll see you guys when I get back. Or actually, I'll take the camera to Ikea. Do you guys want to come? <laughs> Alright, let's go to Ikea. really love these handles. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Don't want to buy that. Show me the sliding test. I think it's too flimsy. I don't think it would hold a lot because it, it, it bends a little underneath my hand. And then this one. This has a really nice slide. Do you reckon I should do that in white? Although this bends. How much? How thin is it on the bottom? Is it a pop-in? It's a pop-in one. It's just a pop-in. So you're gonna need... This one wasn't a pop-in one. This one has really thick base, I think. It's got that... It's got that bar on the bottom. It's too short. I've got like a $200 budget. Oh, did you just have a baby? I did. I oh, your crib's box. lovely in your um, stack of toys. Oh, I have these beautiful curves. Yes, I do. This, like is, this is my maternity <gasps> photo. Is that your baby? This is my baby tiger. Oh, that tiger? <gasps> have you already given your baby name away? She's not pregnant. Mum. <laughs> Mum, who's watching? <laughs> oh, that's a nice mirror. This bathtub. Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't see you. I didn't mean to catch you in the bath. Oh, I was just sitting under the water. Relaxing. Relaxing away with my beautiful view. Oh, like, your view of Ikea. Ikea. I bought a house right next to Ikea so I could watch people walk past. You're very close. How lucky. I know, very lucky. I can even touch people if I try. Ooh. I can spit at them. <laughs> Throw bath water out there. <laughs> oh, I'll catch you later. Okay, bye. <laughs> and look at this cool toilet. Ooh. So what do we have here? So I really like the way that this. Oh, but I'm renting. You can't I was gonna say I'd be it, so yeah. good to put them on. Although, do, do you, you could use I could sticky hooks? hooks? Yeah, yeah. they must be pulled off. We thought this was a really good storage solution. Oh my goodness, I could put this behind my drawers. Have it up and oh no, I don't have a picture up there. You don't have enough space. No. So we've decided on this because they're gorgeous. Do you want to open it up, Stace, and do yeah. the show and tell? It's got really nice, sturdy shelves. So it's not going to break. We don't have to do drawers, so you don't have to pull them in and out. They've still got the door, so it hides everything away. And then I've got two displays. I can yeah. have two sections for displays. And it comes to up with, like about here. Yeah. It's pretty tall. I think and I'm going to do it. The cheapest option. And it is only $159, which was ideally what I wanted to pay. Good morning to you. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Here in the flat pack world, we are making some shelves. Oh, wonderful. Do you know the, hi, everybody. Hi, Dr. Nick. 
I thought you were going to do that. <laughs> Again. Um, so yeah, we've got these two flat packs to turn into a gorgeous set of shelves. These building skills, we're at the final stage of the build. Look how beautiful this storage is. Everything's just so neat. I'll so obviously much make easier it. than drawers. Yeah, I'll obviously make it a lot neater. And, and you then... don't have to dig around in drawers because everything has its own little storage system. And then I think I'm going to put pictures up there. Yeah, I think that'd be cute. Or like a poster. Alrighty, so Stacey and I are going to go get lunch. But I think I'm going to mess around with this all afternoon to work out the best layout. But so far, I think it's looking fabulous. And then I've got all this jump on the ground that I need to sort through. Oakley, Oakley. Let's go, Stessa. So, I'm so tired. I just dropped my sister off at home. Um, we just had a really, really lovely lunch at the Japanese near my place. And we have guests coming tomorrow, so I can't do any more organising. I've got cardboard all over the house, so I think it's just tidying and packing up for now. And then tomorrow I'm going to go and make my room very kawaii and cute. So I'll get to see you guys tomorrow. Bye. So I just wanted to pop on camera to show you guys what I got up to last night. So I ripped out everything from my cupboards in the wardrobe and I started going through all my papers and oh my goodness, I have so much stuff. Let me show you. Okay, so this all needs to be sorted into these tubs. Oh, this is such a big job. I got lots of stuff sorted into this folder over here and then all these papers fell out from this wardrobe. I can't even open them, it's so cluttered in here. Okay, so I've got like my school workbooks, a few Frankie magazines, then I've got a few more books in there and like Kiki K books, again more books and art supplies. And then I've still got to sort through that box down there. This I've been sorting through. So I've got a lot of papers in here all in containers and folders now. And then I still got to go through this pile over here and sort through this entire shelf. So I'm going to go have a shower now. So I'm going to go have a shower now because I'm feeling still a bit sick and run down <laughs> um and then i'm going to yeah crack on <laughs> get some more stuff done tonight and again 
Um, I'm just going to do little bits at a time because that's all I can do at the moment um, since my energy levels are pretty low. Um, I've just been out um, getting some food with Dan so I thought I'd put on some makeup and straighten my hair. Since I've been feeling really sick, <laughs> um, I thought it would be nice just to put on some nice clothes. And I did for a while throughout the day. I felt really nice and like a little bit refreshed. So now I'm going to wash it all off, <laughs> get into my PJs and, and do a little bit of tidying. Um, because we will have guests over tomorrow morning. So yeah, that's what we're doing. And then hopefully I can show you what this craft room looks like once it's all organised. So I'll talk to you guys then. Bye.